What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a sky replacement effect in Premiere Pro. So you'll see I have Premiere Pro opened up and this is a video of people skydiving and it's from the YouTube channel known as RT. Now I've already laid out markers and these markers is where I want the effect to happen. So you'll see right here I'll have the effect happening. So where these markers are I'm going to press C on my keyboard to bring up the slice tool. I'm going to cut it there and I'm also going to cut it there. So now this middle section right here is where the effect will happen. So firstly, I'm going to be dragging this onto video track 3. That is correct, not video track 2. Now from here, head over to the effects tab. Uh, for those that are new to Premiere Pro, I've just moved all my tabs about. Yours would usually be down in the bottom left. So from here, search in color key, and you'll see it's right here. Just drag and drop this on. Then head over to the effects controls. Make sure you select it on your clip come down and then where it says key color use the color picker and select the background now nothing's going to happen just yet what you're going to do where it says color tolerance bring this up so however you want it uh, it might look a bit weird for now but that is okay so i'm going to leave mine there and then the next thing i recommend having edge thin at one and then for the feather it's completely optional but i would say stick between one to five so i'm going to stay one with this and then what we're also going to be doing is heading over to color. Now we want the Lumetri, so we're gonna head over to window and come to Lumetri color. Then from here, come to basic correction, select tone, and then simply bring up the highlights and bring down the shadows. Now this will help a lot if you do this. Now the next thing we're going to do is simply add our video underneath onto video track 2. This is why I said at the start to add the video onto video track 3. So I have my clip right here, I'm just simply going to trim it to the part where I want it, right here, and then I'm going to press C, slice it there, press V for the select tool and delete the remaining. I'm also then going to right click and then unlink so I can delete the audio that came with that video because it's not needed. And you'll see this is what we currently have. Now we're going to be making this look a lot better. For example, the guys are super bright. So to fix that, we're going to head back to the editing. Then we're going to come over to effects. And from here, type in brightness and contrast. Simply drag and drop this onto the top video track. Head over to the effects controls and then come down. And as you'll see, it says brightness and contrast. What you're going to do is choose the brightness, have it low, and you'll see having the brightness low, it fits in with the video itself because it's in the night sky. Then I'm also going to come over to contrast and I'm going to bring it up. So it gives more of an illusion that they are in dark. So there we go. And if I play this through now, this is what we currently have. Just like that, it is done. Now, it's a pretty uh, sharp transition, it's not very smooth, so we're going to be making it smoother. So for this, we are going to be using keyframes. Head back over here to your effect controls, make sure you're on the first clip. Firstly, what we are going to be animating or keyframing is the color tolerance. So right from the beginning, lay down a keyframe, and then come across a couple of seconds. You can see over here, I'm at 47 seconds, so I'm going to make it take two seconds. Then I'm going to press this button to lay down a keyframe. Then with the very first keyframe right here, I'm going to set this color tolerance to zero. Now you'll see if I play this through like this, it will give like a fade in to the uh, new background. Then I'm also going to be doing the same to the end. So from the end part right here, I'm going to lay down a keyframe while the color tolerance is at 23. I'm then going to come to the very last frame and I'm going to put the color tolerance to zero. Now, what I've just done there is what we're also going to be doing to the brightness and contrast. So from the start, just toggle the animations and then come to the next keyframe, which was uh, at the same part as the color tolerance, lay down another frame. And then from the first keyframes here, set them back to zero. And that is the default. Then we're also going to, uh, we can just left click, press control C, come across to the next keyframe, which is right here press control V and it pastes in. We can come across to the end again and we can just press control V, except this time we need to change these last two to zero and zero. Now, if I play this through, this is what we have. 
So it's going to change like that. It gives more of a smoother effect. And then after that, you'll see they go back to normal just like that. And the video continues like normal. So that is how simple it is to do a sky replacement in Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.